Good morning. Well, we have the tropical typhoon going over the top of us. Uh, I would say it's probably a little bit more north than from where we are, or maybe it's south, and we just haven't felt it yet. It was a bit wild and woolly last night, and I spent an hour or so clearing the road on the other side, uh, outside the property, mainly because the young guys around here tend to um, gun it down the straight. And of course, with all the leaves and broken branches, twigs, it's a good chance that they'll spin out. So hopefully it will avoid an, ac an accident. But <clears throat> having just done that, I'm now back inside. I, luckily, I'm able to heat up some water on the stove and make a nice hot cup of coffee. Nothing like a coffee, even at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we have a, a major brownout here, in the sense it started around, the lights went off around 5 o'clock this morning. So when I've been uh, sitting there working out, what should I talk about today on our two channels? And of course, boop, lights went out. And uh, it's just something that we have to... I suppose just accept that that's life in a third world country or an emerging uh, country. I mean, the infrastructure here is following the route that they've chosen, which is overground power lines. And that's okay to have overhead power lines, the main power. But what happens is you then have massive numbers of cables strung between rickety old poles and eventually either a car hits them or a truck or maybe they just simply fall over which causes major disruption to the local power board because they have to get the gang out to uh, clear the way and I see down in Manila there was a tricycle driver or somewhere in, here in the Philippines anyway I saw it on the national news sadly he struck a, a live wire above his jeepney, uh, electrocuted himself, and uh, didn't say whether he had passengers or not. But sadly, he, um, his jeepney caught fire, and uh, nobody was able to save him. It was quite a graphic description in the paper regarding his final moments. So. My sympathies go out to his family, who's a 54-year-old, and a sad way to end your life. But that's the world over. We never know when our time is up. And I suppose that's the essence of my thought for the day. We never know when our luck is no longer going our way. We come here with, like I've said to you before, with the hope and aspiration that we'll be able to achieve what we're able to achieve elsewhere in life. If we're the go-getters in life, the ones that don't let it much get in our way, not in a selfish way, but in a way that nothing will hold us back. The Philippines is definitely one of those places where you'll experience that for sure. Patience is definitely a virtue. But within the relationship, of course, we are playing with fire, the ring of fire. And we mustn't kid ourselves that choosing a Filipina is really something quite new for us foreigners. I know there's some out there that have been married before to Filipinas and they've got the... Uh, They've got the bug, so to speak, and once you've had the bug, you don't want anything else. If you look back at what you've had in the past, I've had some beautiful wives, and I say some. One, two, yes, two, three. Three, with, I count one living. But most were well over 15 years apart. 
and <clears throat> quite a few children too. And I can't ever say, looking back, that they, I wouldn't have wanted life the way it was. <clears throat> and likewise here, when the reality sets in that the woman of your dreams or the woman you've chosen to be your partner no longer wishes you around and that you become an irritation to them and those that share the house with her, then clearly you have a decision whether you stick it out, whether you just hope and pray, a lot of praying, that common sense will prevail. I often think that a woman close to her 50s, if not 50 years old, must have experienced by now the experience of menopause. And menopause can have a devastating effect on the psyche and behavior of a woman. She has no logic or logical way of expressing how she feels, only maybe to share it with someone who's going through the same situation. And I think that when I look at life as a whole, a lot of women around the, the age of 50 go through an amazing change personality-wise. They either become quieter, or more determined and often quite vicious. And I tend to think that it's not so much the partner they're living in, it's the devil inside their head that they're unable to rationalize with and therefore are unable to resolve the issue. Here in the Philippines, of course, a Filipino woman is easily swayed by others. There's no two ways about it. They listen to so much gossip. They analyze it in their own special way. And eventually they convince themselves that their friends and even sometimes family will turn against the foreigner. Not in my case, but certainly I've heard it in many other cases where the relationship is doomed from that point because if you're fighting one, or trying to resolve an issue with one person, if you multiply that by every other member of the family, you're going to inevitably have a, a situation that you clearly cannot find a way through. Myself, <clears throat> I'm sticking it out at the moment. I'm not going to let one human being on this planet destroy my thoughts and visions for a good future here in the Philippines. If they want to be miserable, they want to be sarcastic, they want to be annoying, frustrating towards myself and maybe others, that of course is their problem. But for me, the best way is just to try and ignore it and stay focused. Focused on myself probably more than anything else and the two girls in my case. So I'm looking forward to the imminent birth of what would have been described as my grandchild. But I do share the excitement of a new arrival in the home and I believe that that will have a, a calming effect on those around because you can't let a child come into a household with so much hatred around without realizing that one does harm by doing that. And I suppose at that point, one does have to maybe reconsider one's presence in a home if it's going to affect the grandchild in the end.
not my choice, but I'm not a person many of you might like to think. I do care about people, and I care about this family. And you can say I'm stupid, you can say I'm crazy, but you're not living in my shoes. And therefore, comments aimed at my partner will be immediately removed because it's not fair that I express my own personal feelings and others will interpret what they want. But life is still good. It's more, I should say, I'm taking more control of the day-to-day -day experiences that I'm putting myself through and I'm determined not to let one individual make my life a misery. So, all being said, bit of an overcast, to say the least, there. Still semi-raining, hence I'm in the shop come the new extension to allow the cats somewhere safe to rest whilst the rain sets in. Let's hope we've seen the worst of it. And let's hope, let's hope that the new year brings happiness and peace around everywhere, for everywhere. I know.